Welcome to this video, proving the Native American ancestor based on consensus. A long time ago consensus proposed Y-DNA haplogroups in alphabetical order and also the tree presented that has the ancestor of all humans at the top. Our approach in this video will be clinical and only based on science. Q and C are giants in time and in space and present clear characteristics and the ancestral and migrational behavior of the ancestors of all humans. Above all, the Americas, with only Q and C, have been proven to be the ancestors of all humans by science and its most important fundamentals and markers. As expected consensus did not present Q in this tree, but when one interprets clinically that what is proven by science, the ancestor, and thus Q, is at the top of the tree, this was C in its footsteps. A and B are end of the line because it is a clear and undeniable fact that their haplogroup and members never left Africa and hardly survived. At best haplogroups A and B are insignificant when it comes to populating the world, and for the above reason I leave A and B out of this video for simplicity and to avoid distraction. Nevertheless, A and B are studied in detail in other videos and the claims here are undeniably confirmed. This makes that C becomes the first letter in the leftover order and C has proven its roots and a clear presence in the Americas and next in Asia and Australia. Next to Q, C is a giant in time and in space, in fact they are the only ones. Differently from A and B, C is not an end of a line, but a beginning of several lines, for starters at least two, being D and E in the now presented limited tree, but also the mosaic. Further D and E are related and present the same mutation that no other group presents. This mutation typical for D and E is strongly associated with black skin and Austronesian DNA, that on its turn is associated to Native American ancestral root DNA, and related peoples with black skin can be found on the migration routes of C and descendants D and E all the way from Oceania to Africa. This means and proves that D and E are end of the lines just like A and B are end of the lines. Unlike A and B, E is able to dominate Africa and probably severely push back A and B to deserts and for them unexplorable dense tropical forests. And D can take hold and largely hold on in Asia. So all African groups are proven to be end of the lines. This most probably is so because of the out of the Americas and its obvious competition of its ancestors Q and C and their descendants D and E, and especially of our which has its roots and significant presence in the Americas and Australia and is able to explore all possible routes. In the by consensus alphabetical order or ABC, D comes next to C, and D comes from the area that is covered by C, that includes what is today Australia. Obviously C and D carry Native American DNA and Native American DNA has its roots in the Americas. Thank you for watching. Bye.